All right. Hopefully that didn't require... Hopefully that didn't bore you for too much time. All right. Hopefully that didn't require... Hopefully that didn't bore you for too much time. All right. Hopefully... Stop auto-playing my own video back at me, Twitch. I just want to see the chat window. You... Bastard. Good game. The echo should be gone now. I've got T. So, this is an exciting loading screen. There we go. Okay, like I said a few minutes ago, since more people showed up, we're gonna look at environment maps, and in order to look at environment maps, we're gonna have to kill a few hundred people. But before we do that, uh, what kind of tea? I drink white tea. Um, okay, last time I talked about environment maps, which is this this effect that a game uses to make cars look all glossy and shiny. And, oh, that is too loud. I can't hear myself talk. There we go. So, it's a cool effect. Now, back in the day when I was doing graphics programming, uh just to be nice, let's say more than 10 years ago. Uh, we did this, it looked a lot the same. It looked very similar. Um, the difference is, if, if we look at this reflection in the side of the car, I hope you can see this on screen. I don't know, I realize we're looking at the reflection of a red thing in a black car. But as you can see, if I creep forward, you'll see the reflection change in the side of the car. That didn't used to happen. I only listen to white. Uh, oh. Yeah, bring, bring back reset button. Yeah, I know, I know. If only I didn't need to sleep. Okay, so hopefully you can see that reflection moving in the side of the car. Back in the old day when I used to do these effects, um, that wouldn't happen. What you'd have like a, the. Like a, a great example of this effect was in the turn of the century need for speed games i'd remember you'd have like um oh a minigun that's a that's not appropriate yet wait wait uh i could be funnier if i wanted to you'd have just this one environment an environment map is just a texture that envelops an area it's a bit like a skybox you know that envelops the entire world except instead of enveloping the world it's just the stuff immediately around the object that's having this reflection effect. Uh, think of it like the, you know, the Google Street View car comes around and it captures that sort of surrounding you set of images. Picture one like that. So in the Need for Speed games, you'd get on a, you know, Pacific Northwest map and a car, you'd look at its reflection and it would have like a reflection that was a map that had, a, you know, the sky and some generic pine trees around, but wasn't really the area directly around you. It would just sort of be like the area, what most of the track looked like, some generic trees and stuff. So even if you were at the stands or, you know, at the starting line, you wouldn't see that reflected. These days I see environment maps are updated in real time. So that, you know, right now it's reflecting, this reflection in the side of the car is reflecting the old ammunition here. But if we jumped in the car and drove out to the desert, then the reflection would be showing, you know, that the desert. The problem with this city. Oh, nasty um, ass. And I, th that was kind of interesting, and I, I began watching for environment maps. Because you, you don't need them all the time. They don't need to be updated all the time. So I was watching them and I, I found a, an environment map malfunctioning when I went into here. Jeez, you look uh, like specifically when this place was on fire. Uh, but before we do anything to set this place on fire, check it out. There's people using the gun range. There are three people. It's always the same three people. Now... Um... Okay, so now I've started trouble. Oh! 
Every other time I've done this, those three guys just poofed out of existence. They didn't come out here to fight me. They just vanished. Um, so I'm not sure why it was different this time. It's the murder range again. I know, I know you're probably bored of watching me murder people right here. I swear we're not going to do this for the entire stream. I promise we will go somewhere else and murder hundreds of people in a different venue. Because uh, I, I know it's, it's boring watching me kill people from the set. Wow, it's taking the police a while. Hang on, let me go, let me go out and give a little cry for attention. Oh, there we go. There we go. Pay attention to me. I'm lonely in here. Oh. Uh, a little bit more. Yeah. How about this dump truck? Nobody needs that. That guy. I kind of don't want to shoot my car here, so I have to be careful. I don't want to start World War Three out here. Or I might blow up my car. Oh, four stars! Oh, that didn't take long. Okay. Okay, we're good. We're, that might be... That might be a little too much excitement for us. To do this test properly. Now, the first thing I want to do is set up an explode. No, not there. There we go. I want a fire. Now, if this works... I, I need a few bodies, because bodies catch on fire. Wow, I blew off my armor. Alright, so now we just sort of wait. We just have to wait for a few bodies to pile up. Be patient. Go back down. Stay down. If you get up, you just get shot again. got your first bot that I know of? Oh, is it some somebody in chat? How annoying. I, I need to deputize a moderator. Uh, a few more bodies. And then we'll get this fire started. Oh, I see the link. Where you gonna go? Whoa! That was kind of a good cartwheel that guy did. This got morbid quick. I swear we're studying graphics technology here. Thank you, Califortuna. That was terrible. That guy got ahead of me. I have eyes on the target. There he is. Just get <laughs> Piece of garbage. <laughs> Come on, a couple more. I actually need them to go behind the counter a little more. But they don't want to. They want to stand right there. Over there! Over there! He says to no one in particular. How long is this stream up for? We've only been doing this a couple minutes. There you are! Freeze, maggot! All right, I guess that's enough. OK, 
Okay, so here we go. Yes, the fire burns. Now what we're looking for is that when you're on foot, oh, it's not gonna do it. We wanna look at the environment maps right on that counter. It reflects the fire, but, oh, it went out. I almost got shot looking at environment maps. This is not the first time that would have happened to me. Wow, the fire went out. I have been robbed. That means all of these people died for nothing. We can't let their deaths have been in vain. We have to kill more of them. It's the right thing to do. What we're looking for here, now they won't come back here. The AI has this interesting thing. The AI is smart enough to not make a path through fire. So if there's fire between me and one of the police, they won't march through it. But they're not smart enough to know that the fire's coming at them. So they'll stand there and just allow themselves to be overcome with fire. Aren't there Molotov cocktails? There are not Molotov cocktails. At least I haven't seen any in this game. There is a jerry can um, that you can use to pour gasoline all over the place. I just thought this would be a more reliable way. Oh, you can hear the screaming. Well, our experiment has failed. If this had worked, there would have been a reflection of, oh, we need to move right there in the cabinets of the fire. But the reflection kind of flashes like twice a second, like an emergency light. Instead of flickering like the flames, it would blink on and off, showing that the environment map updates twice a second instead of continuously. That was what all of these people died to show you, and then it didn't even work. Okay, we need to go in here. Fire, fire is apparently not allowed on the gun range. So, we just wait the fire out. And then we're going to make a run for it. So all this death was in vain after all. It is a shame. Like this guy. What was he doing? Doesn't matter now. He gave his life for this experiment. They're probably not going to come in here until the fire lets up. But my vending machine is on fire. and That's really annoying. The police have lost track of me. The police, it's been so long since they've seen me that they've forgotten how to get to me. They'll probably, as soon as the fire clears, they'll wander in here and find me. The odd thing is, if I could just keep the place on fire, they would forget about... Whoa! More fire. I've never seen the carpet burn twice like that before. Maybe we can sneak out. We'll just... Oh no, now they know where I am again. Oh well. Mm -hmm. Bit of assault rifle. There are Molotov cocktails. Where are they? Are they for sale in the gun store? Trevor, motherfucking Phillips! That's me! Alright. Wilhelm got a job in the police department. Shut yes. Up, yes, he did. Oh. All right. Well, we've got five stars. And stay down. So, I guess we just make a run for it. And hope for the best. Wait for the door to clear. Actually, I guess those guys aren't coming in. All right, fine. Oh, get over the bodies. Come on, Trevor, this is important. Oh yeah, uh, cops, see through doors. That's another quirk of the AI. You know what, we need, we need these guys to go away in a hurry. We need them to go away in a super hurry. All right. Come on, go. Go. Why is why are you not going? Right 
All right, now we've got to get out of this. And then we're going to go somewhere else and kill people for a different reason. Wow! Oh no! Don't pop my tires. The spike strips. The spike strips were really cheap in Grand Theft Auto 3 because a cop could just pull them out of their pocket real quick and they'd go across the road and boom, all your tires are All right. Open, 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 open. I love how there's zero recoil when you're shooting around the corner. Yeah, especially when you're shooting a large weapon that, and you're holding it with one hand, and it's a two-handed weapon, and it, actually, the on the assault rifle, it has, a, the, the shotgun, oddly enough, has very little um, recoil in, in the sense of messing up your aim. That thing is like a sniper rifle, but then, the assault rifle just goes everywhere. Primary color, classic. I don't know. Just, okay, white. All right. You know, that was one of the rare times where the respray works for me. I don't like how they changed the respray in Grand Theft Auto 4 and 5. And no, I admit it was a bit cartoony in the... Nice. In Grand Theft Auto 3 and, you know, that the PlayStation 2 era games. Where, um... Why am I so far off center? I centered this up. Oh, Audrey Hepburn's in the frame now. Okay, that's fine. Uh... I didn't... I didn't like how... I admit that it was really cartoony in the old games when you, you know, you'd have 12 police cars after you and you just pull into this magical garage, pop out a different color and they would just, you know, shrug and walk away. I admit that was cartoony. But the way they fixed that is in Grand Theft Auto 4, they changed it so that the cops can't see you going into the garage. The problem was that all the garages were right on the street. So the only time you could get resprayed was when you had already lost the cops which sort of made the entire mechanic nearly pointless. Not entirely pointless, but nearly so. Uh, when I came to Twitch, I thought... <laughs> Audrey Hepburn equals instant MA rating. Uh, for the record, that picture of Audrey is a gift from my oldest daughter. She knew I thought... Uh, I told her one time I thought Audrey Hepburn was pretty. And then when she and my wife were out Christmas shopping for me, my oldest daughter, Rachel, was like, this, we have to get him this. So now I have a picture of Audrey Hepburn on my wall. That's cool. It's actually, I really like it. It's a nice picture. Although having her stare over my shoulder during stream is a little weird now that I'm thinking of it. Yeah, the problem with trying to make a game realistic. Um, yeah, they, they kind of made this compromise to respray places in service of making the game more realistic or at least less obviously visually absurd. Now, they fixed it a bit here in GTA V in that they moved all of the respray places off the street. So it's a little easier. Uh, in GTA IV, it was so pointless. You have to be out... There can't be any police anywhere on the street. Oh my goodness, Trevor, it looks like you've been eating people. Trevor looks like a zombie. He's got blood on his face. Mr. Phillips. Uh, my Wilson. daughter um, has not gone to college. She moved away, got married, and she and her wife live in Texas now. So... And they're apparently doing great, have jobs, her wife's going to school. 
All right, we're going into the strip club, but we're going to keep this safe for work. You know what a BBW is? Um, me. A big What would really turn me on is you wearing clown face. Oh, Wade, you're awful. Now this, you know, I have that one in, in the gun range. I have that one spot where you can hold off the cops for What are you doing in here? We're talking about violence. We have that one spot where you can hold off waves of cops forever. Um, if you're early in the game, this spot is also one of the, I can't go I can't go into cover because there's no violence happening, so it automatically makes me put all my guns away. But right here, if I went into cover here, uh, you can hide in the strip club and shoot police as they come through this door. However, um, later in the game, you own this. Uh, Trevor here comes to own the strip club, and that unlocks this back entrance. And then since it's unlocked for Trevor, it's also unlocked for the police. And now they can come at you from two directions. So this place become, becomes less valuable as a place to perform mass murder. Let's change clothes, since that also will clean the blood off of me. Oh, that's much too nice. Sure, a puffy yellow jacket. That looks completely inappropriate. That looks like not a thing that Trevor would wear. Let's see, <laughs> Trevor is Florida man. Florida man. That's actually really true. He really is. I think the bottom of the chat window is being covered in the stream. Yeah, yeah, I can see that is. It's only. You're you're only missing the latest two go lines, so you're not missing too much. Um, yeah, I could make. Trevor, the, I'll do that for girl, next stream. Girl, I'll make sure that it's lined up. Actually, all I could do is move that window. You don't need to see the part where it says stream chat at the top. I think you can probably figure out that it's stream chat. So if I moved that window and repositioned it, yeah, that would work go, better. Gents, anyway, um, here. we're here. We're not here for a lap dance. We're here for the murder. Now, what's interesting about this place is when you own it, um, the bouncers are cool with you being a mass murdering, homicidal loony. Also, look at this. Look at these rain effects. Now, the old naive way to do effects like this would be to just take this water shimmering effect and put it over everything. But look, there are dry spots, or not dry spots, places where the water is not deep enough to form that mirror effect. This is, oh, it is so amazing. And it's not like if there's an even clean line between, it's not like, oh, in the middle of the road, there's no water. And then at the gutter, there is water. It's just like a real road. You can see the shape where the road is uneven and it gathers in pools and you can't see any sh you can't see any seams in any texture map right in any texture mapping this is all completely seamless this giant this giant intersection that covers a huge area and has really complicated lines going all over the place and has like the road if you see it during the day the road is really pale in the middle and then darker on the edges just like a real road and then also the water pool it forms pools during a rainstorm. Just th there is so much work that goes into setting everything up so that so that it looks just like this. And they could have skipped a lot of those those steps, and who would have complained? It's just this obsessive attention to detail that this game has. Zelda Wind Waker. Game has a cool style to it, but there are texture seams everywhere. That's terrible. That is, that's one of the things, like, I don't get distracted by pixelated textures or blurry textures, uh, but really heavily tiling textures, which you do not see in this game, um, and, and ugly texture seams. Yeah, those jump right out at you. This rain does make heavy rain look terrible. Although I guess 
What do you... I mean, yeah, this game looks good, but what do you expect for a lousy $200 million? Oh, that guy turned. That was a good one. That was a good one. All right. How many? That's three stars. That's almost as illegal as punching a hundred people. All right, so now the police are coming. Just for good measure, let's do one more. Oop. So these this guy's totally cool with me wandering in here on a on a rampage. Nobody in here is freaked out, but the minute the police hit the door, um, everybody in here is going to freak out. There they go. See ya. Nope, here we go, Trevor. Oh, why'd you run in the middle of my line of fire? That's on you, lady. Sorry, but that's totally on you. Did you see the back wheel, backflip cartwheel that guy did? Is the Los Santos PD hiring Olympic, Olympic gymnasts for their police force? That's amazing. I still got shit on my list. Oh, that guy said a very vulgar thing that makes me uncomfortable. Oh shit, motherfucker! I got you. I'm up to it. Yeah. Come on! So why are you killing these people? That's an excellent question. Why am I killing? My name's Trevor. Okay, I'm. What's your name? Uh, why am I killing these people? Oh, I want to ask some questions about strip clubs. But first, we need to get this party going. The police are made of helium balloons? That is entirely possible. So, what's funny is when they start coming in, I, what I like about the uh, AI in this game is that when you give them the chance, they will come in through multiple routes. They won't all just funnel through this. Since the back door is unlocked, they'll also come in through the back door and try and flank me. I really like that. Um, the other really funny thing is they don't just try to reach you. They try to reach a place where they can shoot at you. Like the stage here, you cannot get over this stage. You can't, nothing can get over this stage. It's physically impossible for any character to get over that little chest high wall. But they recognize that they can shoot at me if they can reach that point. So they'll come out onto the stripper stage, which I think is hilarious. Not What's your name? Um, let's try proximity mine. Did I miss a guy? Who shot me? Did I, did a guy wander in and I looked right through him? That's weird. Who shot me? I, I'm gonna have to watch that when they, when I post this stream later. That was weird. I there must have been some guy just standing there that I ignored. A stripper shot you. Oh, I always blow up that van, but then I have to deal with the fact that everybody's running away and I can't get a car. That was really strange. I I think we need to I think we need to call the ref in and have him review the footage of that play, because I think 
be a prank. I think I was wrongfully wasted. Wait, I'm freaking Come on. out! Out of the car, lady! Let's go! Alright. Try this again? Oh, that is so rude. Go in the back. Now you watch, it'll like I've got my gun out here, and then as soon as I walk in, oh, put it away. And I can't get it back out, it won't let me. I'm pressing the button to like get out my weapon wheel, and it won't let me. I have to wait until police enter the building, and then it will allow me to get out my weapon. Which I think is unsporting. I should be allowed. The other funny thing is that this guy, totally cool. I've I've been in this space right here and had hundreds of uh, the police forgot about me. They only play like six songs here. It's kind of making me crazy. I th that's Wade. He's one of the characters in the game. I don't like the ending of his story. That's the end. Is he sits in that booth and gets lap dances till the end of time. Never moves. It's a weird ending for his character. Doesn't make a lot of sense. Um. There we go. Well, it's the gas station. Why are these pumps not blowing up? I'm gonna have to get my money back on this mini game. It is not getting the job done. <laughs> GTA is an odd game to have enforced no violence zones. Now you can get your gun, if you walk in there with your gun in the firing position, you can keep it there, but as soon as you stop, unless there's a threat in the room, it'll let's go, let's go. it'll make you put it away. All right, we need we need a gun that'll let us move faster. All right, so try this again. Oh, put my gun away like an idiot. For the record, I've never been in a strip club in real life, so I don't know what real, like everything I know about strip clubs, oh sorry buddy, everything I know about strip clubs I learned from movies. Yeah, let me get my gun out, it's, not, it's gun time, thank you Grand Theft Auto. Now this isn't as good a place to hold off the police because you've got these stupid fluffy curtains in your way and that's annoying. But I kind of want to talk about this. This room strikes me as being very weird when I came back here. Because uh, to me, having not been in a real strip club, they never show this space in the movies. They just show people like go into a strip club and then stand under a woman and have their exposition conversation, right? That's how movies work. So to me, these like look like either changing rooms in a department store or um, or bathroom stalls with no doors. And I get that this is where you're supposed to go for a, uh, a private dance or whatever. But if you look out in the in the main area of this place, there's like a pole where one girl at a time can dance and there's like three tables out there like this building can hold 12 people total like 12 people can sit down 12 customers but then you come back here and they've got all these booths and so my question for the stream is i know one of you has been in a strip in a strip club or knows something about it is this real is this what a strip club is really like Is this, do, do, do strip clubs really have this, um, this many boots in the back? Oh, 
Okay, it just means straight sex. Easy. Yeah. So hence private boots. Yeah. It just seems like this is a lot of boot space for for such a small establishment. But maybe maybe you need this many. I don't know how these places work. Um, on one hand, I kind of want to give. I kind of want to assume this is a correctly made building, just because that's how this team works. Everything else in this game is just made with such attention to detail. And so accurately, or I would, so I guess I'm saying I wouldn't be surprised if there, somewhere in LA, there was a strip club that just looked like this. Maybe the boots let them get away with having a smaller main room. Maybe that's the case. This place does look pretty cramped. Like, the, in the movies, when they go to a strip club, it's always some giant, like, thing where they... Well, really, they go to big places in the movies so that when you're... When characters are giving shot, reverse shot, and doing exposition about what they're going to do in the next scene, as the camera goes between one shot and the other, it can always have a stripper in view because the place is so big. But maybe this is a more common size for a strip club. I actually don't know. This place does seem... This place looks small compared to what movies have led me to expect. I have to really... I mean, okay, the police in this game are violent, crazy, murderous assholes. But then I don't have room to talk, so there's that. But as, as vile as they are, I really have to admire their work ethic. That they're still coming at me. The re Some have fairly small main floors. The real money is in the private dances. And most are kind of small. Large ah! joints are rare. Officer down. Ah! Oh, there was my there was my bouncer dude. Kind of got swept up in it. You notice he didn't like leave or try to get them to leave or try and encourage me to. He just stood there. Just stood there in the middle of everything. Oh. The downside about using this as a place to rampage is, of course, just like the, just like the, um, the gun range, this place is a bit of a dead end. You just murder cops forever until you get bored. The downside to this place is there's no drinks machine, no food, no way to, like, um, get your health back up. So your health regenerates to half. And that's it. So when you decide you want out of here, when it's time to leave, you have to hit the front door with half health. And that really lowers your your chances of survival. Are you going to get back up? No, you're not. Okay, good. Sorry, cops. You can't come in. Too many guys already. It's right. Right? You're my, you're my bouncer. Keep these guys out. Just ask them to leave. Or make them pay the cover charge. If you keep this up any longer, the corpses... This is another thing. The, about the corpses blocking your escape. Yeah. Trevor has trouble, or the player character has a lot of trouble crawling over bodies where obviously these NPCs do not. They effortlessly just walk through the corpses where... Come on. Stop getting up. Wow, that guy really wanted to get shot a lot of times. Did you see that, though? His body, this is what I was just bringing up, his body disappeared right away. As soon as he fell down, his body vanished. Meanwhile, that guy, how long ago did I kill him? And he's still there. And so I can't figure out what's the logic. The game likes to clean up bodies when you're not looking. When you look away from bodies and then you come back, it'll have gotten rid of some of them sometimes. Especially if I go in the next room and come back. But sometimes it just blatantly does it in front of you. There's another guy. But it doesn't start with the oldest, which is what you'd expect. Instead, it just sometimes deletes a guy that just fell down. Maybe there's some cap for total number of bodies. Or maybe there's a cap for the total... Maybe when those guys disappear, it's because they're basically respawning outside. 
and it's like, oh, I, I can't have that many active characters, so I need to get rid of some of them. But why wouldn't you get rid of... Yeah, it's just the two most recent bodies keep vanishing. And then two more guys come in. These guys are fearless. Oh, that was an interesting pose that guy had with his arms crossed. Huh. So I feel, I feel like we need to move on. I, I feel like we've killed, a, the, these murders are no longer entertaining. I am sorry, I know you guys are putting your heart into being murdered by me, but douche lord, oh! That was hurtful. All right, hey, good night, Lieutenant, Lieutenant Alenko. All right, so now it's time to leave. We just need to work up the nerve to go out there. Let's just do it. Let's just suck it up. Wow. Let's go, let's go. Little for you. Maybe stop here. Let our murder juice recharge. Come on inside. I just need to murder a couple of you to recharge my slow mo. Oh! Come on, tough guys, let's do this! I guess we've just gotta make a run for it now. This is this is looking pretty sketchy. Oh wow. We're not gonna make it. No. No, no, no. <gasps> We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. We have visual on suspect. Oh, see you, losers. So, do we respray or do we? Let's try and respray again. That's that takes less time than sitting in the subway tunnels waiting for the timer to burn out. Is crashed. That was barely a fender bender. I'm a fender. Go, go, go. Lose the cops. But if I lost the cops, I wouldn't need to go. I wouldn't need to be your customer. Alright, fine. We'll do this the boring way. See what I mean? The This respray shop would be so much better if it was just a little more video game. It's just so rarely useful that it might as well not exist in the game. Oh, it's time for the train. Alright, well... I'll pull over here, we'll wait for the police to time out and I'll check on chat. Just find a floating police badge and it'll lower your level wanted level by one. You know, you know, is that is there off? Um, that I liked that system from the PS2 era games where you could lower your wanted level by driving around the city. That made it feel more like a police chase, and that would be cool. That that was cool. Like, this is boring. Sitting here, just waiting for the timer to tick down is boring. And... Excuse me. And obviously the respray places don't really work great. And even when they do, it feels kind of cheap and lame. Like, you can just duck in there and all is forgiven and you're back to playing the game. I liked the 
you've only got so many police badges. They're spread around the city. So if you want to get rid of a five-star wanted level, you've got to hit five of them. You've got to know the city. You've got to know where they are. You've got to be able to hit the jumps. I thought that was a great way of getting rid of your wanted level and handling things that would kind of encourage you to have an exciting police chase. But I guess that was too video gamey. And this series needs to take itself so seriously. Have I played, have any interest in Subnautica? People have been, rep have been recommending Subnautica to me for months. And I think I've been shying away from it just because all I know about it is it takes place in the water and that sounds boring. Um, but I haven't even watched a, like, I just imagine a game where you What's spend all your now? time swimming. And you know, usually in video games, you, time you spend swimming is really boring. Um, so I know nothing about the game, so I imagine it incorrectly as just this silly thing where you... where you're always swimming places. Like in video games where you just gotta hold down the button and not and hold your breath or whatever. Um, so that's probably not what it's like. It's probably not like swimming in Minecraft or whatever. But like that's just what I pictured in my head so I thought ah, I don't need to play that. That doesn't sound fun. But then everybody keeps recommending it to me and so I should probably check it out but I haven't yet. I got near Automata on sale last week and I've been I've been thinking I should really play that game and I should stop spitting when I talk. <clears throat> I should re I I want to play near Automata but I feel like I need to finish writing about GTA 5 here. So, yeah, that's kind of where I am with the games I'm playing. Have I seen the zero punctuation? I have not. It's, it is No Man's Sea, but with base built, No Man's Sky, I see. And a bit better made. Well, it would be, it would be difficult to be worse made. Wow, is this game pretty. I, I've had to turn down the visuals, um, for this stream. I've, I bumped a lot of things down, the resolution's way down, I turned off a lot of anti-aliasing. The game is kind of jaggy and janky now, and doesn't look nearly... GTA 5 here doesn't look nearly as good as what I'm used to when I'm playing on my own, but I think this should make for a smoother stream for the people watching, which I, is more important to me. It looks more like don't swim instead of don't starve. Oh yeah, the frame's smooth proper. Oh, thank you, narrator, narrator way. That was exactly what I wanted. I, I have been hoping that we could uh, have a smooth frame rate. I made a wrong turn. I need to go to the gun store. A lot of my time in this game is spent in this, in this area, right around Strawberry, in Franklin's neighborhood. You've got a respray, you've got a gun, you've got ammunition with a firing range, which there's only a couple of those in the game. And you've got several of the best holdout places to hold off waves of cops. So, just, the, it's not as much fun to rampage in other parts of the city. It's really hard to rampage out in the desert. I feel like we should go out in the desert just because that's three quarters of the game world. Like, Look at this. I've been, I've been showing off this game for two weeks, and we haven't even looked at all of the city. And then look at how much more world there is out there. In fact, I've beaten the game, and I've still got giant holes in the map. And I don't know why the frame rate is so, so stuttery when you're scrolling around the map. That makes no sense to me. <clears throat> Franklin South Santos feels the most authentic. It looks authentic based on what I see in the movies. It, it just... 
in the sense of when you go back that when you drive through Franklin's neighborhood <clears throat> oh my excuse me those houses in particular just strike me as being really like probably based on reference photographs and not just made up the way they all look a little the same but each one looks unique the way that real houses real tract housing works where they stamp out a bunch of them but they all look slightly different because people decorate their houses differently yeah especially in here now obviously they spent a lot of time on this neighborhood because this is where franklin lives if i was playing as franklin um i could go in here because this is franklin's house or it is until about halfway through the game when he moves but you can't go into other people's houses can't get into his garage <coughs> it's wrong man that's what we'll try right there um all, all right just curious got any intention to play new games on stream I do like these chill streams, just curious. I don't know, I haven't decided what I'm doing with streaming. I like being able to, like, read some comments, but also drive, like an idiot. Um, sort of, I only have to keep one eye on the game, because I know the game, I know the game world, I know what I'm doing here. That's nice. And obviously, if I was playing a new game, there would be less of me talking to you, and more of me just focused on the game. The traffic level is more Midwest town 50 years after factory closed than West Coast. Yeah, the, f the traffic here is very, very, um, heck, I think Pittsburgh has worse traffic than this. And this is supposed to be the in-game equivalent of L.A., so the, oh! That was entirely your fault. So you'd think there would be a lot of traffic. I assume the traffic is limited for frame rate purposes. And because that wouldn't be a very fun game because you'd always be stuck in traffic. Stream Factorio. That would be that would be a very cerebral stream. And that would be one where I talked very little. Because my entire mind would be dedicated to running the stream. I knew I was, there was a reason I was driving. I'm driving around this place and driving around, driving around. What do I need here? What do I? I came in here to get some armor. Be good. Be good. The guy in the gun store tells me after he sells me a mini gun. Yeah, yeah. L, real LA traffic would be unfun. You know what I'd like from the sequel for this game? Every time they do a sequel, they're like, newer, bigger map. And these maps have gotten bigger and bigger and bigger. I, it really drove home for me when I was looking at Grand Theft Auto 3 and looking at the map. I remember thinking Grand Theft Auto 3 was a, immense. But the first, the first island in that game is probably smaller in terms of complexity than just Franklin's home here in Strawberry. Like, it's that many streets. There's not much to it. And so every game gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And it's almost getting to the point where it's hard to get to know the city. Like, it takes a long time before you really know your way around. And that's... I think that's part of the charm of the game. But what I would like is if they made another game and they kept this map. Don't replace it. Don't add to it. Just give us this map and then tack... Vegas on or you know what what is Vegas called in the Grand Theft Auto universe I forget what it's called but they've got a name for it um I, I want to say Lost Wages but no that's Leisure Suit Larry and it's not Vice City that's uh Miami Burnout Paradise did have a good size fictional city I like that. Size over content is the name of the game. It's true. Although this game is a rare one that has both size and content. This 
game is just so immense. <clears throat> but I would like for them in this dead area of the map. I know they've already canonically, they, it's coast. And there's nothing over there. So I guess California or the state of San Andreas is an island. Screw it. Just tack your in-game Nevada on right here. I guess. Since up here, this area of the world is the Pacific Northwest. So I guess up here we're into Washington State. Um, yeah, I mean, there's a mountain right here. And then over here is uh, your Washington -y area. So I guess Nevada would have to be here ish. Obviously, the scale is a bit wonky. But yeah, stick uh, like over a little more um, e further east so that it's a long drive. And then set most of the game in. Excuse me. Set most of the game in Las Vegas, but then have a few missions bring us over here for various things. So we get to keep the city that we know and that we're familiar with and that has lots of cool stuff to see, but we get another city tacked onto it. Las Venturas, thank you. Thank you, Jarlac. I have I have it set to black background, so people with blue names are very hard for me to see. They're remastering Burnout Paradise to PS4, but not to the PC. Oh, that's a shame. All right, so where should we go? Um, you know, I kind of we kind of burned through all the content I planned here. In I thought it would take us a lot longer to talk about all this stuff I wanted to talk about. When did I even start this stream? Like, how long have I been streaming? I have no idea. I wish Open Broadcaster told me. Live, 57. Oh, it does tell me. It's right there. I've been live. All right, let's do a few more minutes. Radioactive color instead of the blue one. Yes, Damien Lucifer, I can see your text more clearly than anyone else's. I've been streaming for 50 minutes, plus there was that... Uh, Five minutes of useless stream uh, where I streamed a blank screen. I'll leave that off when I upload the VOD. Uh, you know what? Let's head to... Let's head to the Pacific Northwest. Hopefully it will be daytime by the time we get there. Actually... Er, oh, oh, I hate that frame choppiness. It's really frustrating. Actually, let's just see how long of a trip is it? I've never timed it. So here we are, we're starting at 58 minutes. And, I give and, I give. and we're gonna head for Washington State. GTA Golf. Would you believe all the hours I've spent with this game? I've probably got well over a hundred. Oh, oh, I'm sorry stream, I have to come in here and do this thing. I know we're, I know we're supposedly doing science to figure out how long it takes, but Oh, he just had the blo he just had the briefcase. I didn't even have to I didn't even have to blow open the armored van. Those guys were terrible armed guards. Oh wow, these cops are kind of hemming me in. Where do I go? Where do I go? I'm looking at the map in the corner trying to find a route that'll get me around the police. Preferably, oh, there they find me because I crashed. Idiot! Idiot! Looking at the map and not at the road. Oh, they are right on me. I'm not going to get rid of them like this. Come on, you guys just need to hit one of these cars. There we go. And then there's another one waiting for me. Come on, forget about me. Lose track of me. Oh, 
Pardon. There we go. Alright, back to the science. It's really pointless to rob those armored vans. Um, they give you, I think, $5,000. And every time I die, it's $5,000. No, every time I die, I usually spend a few thousand dollars replenishing my health and ammo and armor. And then there's a $5,000 hospital bill. And I've got $25 million. So none of these expenses or profits make any difference to my overall amount of money. But I can't resist um, robbing our armored vans. I can't. Get out of the way. So I have Twitch open. I have Twitch, um, I just noticed now. Yeah, so what happened? Why did I get, why did, why, why did my stream just go down? Let me tell you, I have this window open. I don't know if there's another way to do this, but I have this window open so that I can see your chat and talk to you. Um, but every once in a while, Twitch decide, and I've got my video, because I don't want to see my video streaming back to me, that's pointless. So I paused my video at the beginning of the stream and Twitch just decided to start that back up. So it unpaused my video, which is way in the background. That slowed everything down, choked off my upward stream and screwed up the entire stream. It's probably going to be all stupid and terrible and broken when I download the VOD later. Oh, stupid Twitch. You do this to yourself, you jerk. hate that. Do not unpause a video. I've got paused. Don't auto refresh a page. Seen people add the chat in a different way. No idea how they did it though. I'm going to have to figure that out for you G1 because I can't let that keep happening. That's going to, that's just terrible. It kills my stream. So I wonder how much of the talking I just did was to myself. This is a that was terrible. Automobile. Okay. I've never seen these in real life. Whatever these are. I mean, these are obviously reflectors. And I assume you can... I assume they work this way to, like, rumble strips to wake up a driver. That if they veer towards the center, they their car gets hit and it makes a bunch of noise without totaling their car... You know, gives them a warning to wake them up before they go into opposing traffic. But they don't have these where I'm from. And it makes it really irresistible. I can't drive in the proper lane. I have to plow these down. That just feels so good. They also break your car. In real life, they break your car. That was close. That was close, Trevor. A bit. I mean, that's fair. If you fall asleep, yeah. I mean, it's more important to wake you up by banging on your car than it is to spare your paint job and your front bumper. It, it sounds insubstantial in this game. When you hit them, it feels like you're hitting lightweight plastic that is completely harmless to your car. But it's fun to watch those little plastic pieces fly all over the place. I, that's interesting. That woman's car, uh, I, that pink caddy, pink caddy, um, I, I recovered that once, killed the person who stole it, and then blew the car up. And so I see it's just offering me that quest again. You have them in Florida, too. Huh, well, Pennsylvania doesn't have them. Which is odd, Lucky because our mess. population is so old, we probably need it. Sleeping while driving is probably a serious problem. Oh. oh. 
you know what we need to do. I just, I can't resist. I know we're on our way somewhere. This isn't happening. Oh, and I should be watching the road. But that is just too big and juicy a target. Miss me! Oh, that felt good. Oh, we're there. Citizens reporting a 996. I like how the police have a number for somebody put a sticky bomb on a fuel truck. Here's something really goofy. These, these cable cars will not carry you if you are wanted by the police. They know. These are judgmental cable cars, and they will not carry a, a, a known felon. Dude, you can't park like that. Oh, the police see me. I was going to end this stream by going up the cable car to the top, but that is now ruined. Oh, oh, they forgot about me. Oh, you come out here and they automatically see you. Oh, because they're down there. Dogs, you can't use the subway's fast travel system if you're being chased, but you can walk onto a subway and be ferried away to the next stop. Well, a police area or area of influence. All right, well, these guys ruined my intended ending for my stream, um, and that's really rude, and that makes me very angry. So let's kill a bunch of them until they until they bring me down, and that'll be the end of the stream. Let's finish this shit. These are fun. Is it wrong to laugh at that? Because I don't feel bad for laughing at that. I know how to end this. It's hammer time. Somebody come out and I've got a claw hammer. And that's how we're going to end this. How many policemen can we claw hammer to death? Ooh. Well, three. Four. Oh, come on, Trevor. lives are over now they will never see their families again i would like it if the game actually in the background every time it spawns a police officer it spawns a family for them and gives them all names and relationships and a personal history and the moment you kill them then it then it deletes the them and you know makes another police officer with another family that you never see has no effect on gameplay but in memory it you know keeps track of where his kids are going to college and Whose wives are and everything. <sighs> well, 
That's the stream. Every police officer. Yes, there's a variable called days till retirement. <clears throat> and it's always set to one when it spawns a police officer. So the next time I'm setting up chat, head to Seamus Young dot slash dashboard and they'll get a video player that won't autoplay. All right. Oh, interesting idea, Isaroth. A game world like this where there's a set number of occupants. So there's the longer you just run people over, just the more and more the whole thing depopulates. That's amazing. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. I will see you same time next week. Actually, I'll be on time next week. See ya.